Every 3D software has its own way of navigating in the 3D space. And Zebras as well has its own way, which is quite unique than uh, the other, if you compare it with the other uh, 3D applications. So let's see one by one how we can uh, navigate in a ZBrush in 3D space. The first thing that uh, everyone looks for when you're navigating is the orbiting. To orbit in a ZBrush is very simple. You just press on uh, empty area, like suppose here, with your left mouse button and drag it. So it will help you to navigate uh, it freely wherever you want to orbit. Okay. And here it will show you as well while you're orbiting what side you are looking at, basically. But this one is more of an orthographic view. So this is how you can easily uh, orbit around. Now, other one here is to pan around. Now, to pan around, it's not simple as orbit because you need to press a secondary key, which is the Alt key on your keyboard if you're using PC, but if you're using Mac, then Option key. Now, you will press Alt or Option key on your keyboard, then left mouse button, and then you can pan around. So this is how you can pan around in ZBrush. You have to press Alt or Option and click uh, left click on your mouse and then you can drag or pan around your scene. So this is how uh, you can do that. Now, other way to orbit or to move around, you have these options here, okay? So we have here one option which is for, for the you can, if you see that there is a rotate option here, if I will click on it and drag, so I can easily pan around. Sorry, uh, I will easily orbit around just like what I was doing by clicking here and dragging around. So same thing as I can do here. Now for, as you know, I was doing the panning, I have to use Alt key on my keyboard on PC or the Option key on the Mac, and then I can click and pan around. Okay. But same thing I can do with this move tool. If I click on this move and then drag, I can also do, uh, I can do the similarly like the same thing. So you can use these buttons uh, to uh, navigate as well. And if you don't want to use the buttons, you can just use your screen. So for uh, panning, as I told you, it's Alt or Option and then drag down. Now. We have a zooming. Now, zooming here is quite tricky. First, you need to start panning. Press Alt or Option if you're using Mac and then start panning. Now, when you're panning and if you want to zoom in, what you need to do is that leave your Alt or Option key on the keyboard, but keep your left mouse button pressed. Don't leave your mouse button only leave your alt key so as soon as i will leave my alt key and start dragging so it will start zooming in and zooming out so this is how it will help me to zoom in and zoom out okay it's quite tricky because you have to first pan around then leave your alt key and then uh, but keep your mouse button pressed and then you can zoom in and zoom out now another way to zoom in or zoom out is that you press control on your keyboard and right click on your mouse button and drag it so you can also zoom in and zoom out so this is quite simple but sometimes what you have uh, what happens that you are more used to the left mouse but uh, left mouse button so you might get confused in between and you might not use the control and the right mouse button okay so if you will use control and the left mouse button, it will be doing the masking. So be careful with that. But if you don't want to use these uh, navigational uh, like shortcuts over here, you can use this zooming tool here, this button. You can click, drag up and down for zooming. So you can use any one of these tools for navigational purposes. So as I told you before, if I am 
orbiting, I have to just press this empty area and I can orbit around. So this is a 3D orbiting, but I want if I want to orbit and snap to an orthographic view, just like what I'm doing here. Okay, so it only moves me to the orthographic view. I can do same same thing here, but what uh, but what I have to do is that suppose I want to go to the top view, exactly on the top view, orthographic top view. So I have to go to on the top, uh, like drag it on the top, and then I have to press shift on my keyboard. As soon as I will press shift, it will snap to the top board. If I want to go to the front, I will just drag normally, orbit normally. But as soon I will start reaching to the front, I will just press shift, and it will snap to the front. So this is how you can do with your uh, orbiting tool by pressing shift key and it will snap to the orthographic view. So this is also a quite handy way of doing this. You can also tilt the camera inside ZBrush. Now uh, to tilt the camera, it's even more tricky. What you need to do is that you just have to press shift key on your keyboard. Then press left mouse button on the ZBrush any empty area and when you click then leave your shift key and when you will leave your shift key and when you will drag it will start click uh, tilting your camera okay so you just have to do press shift okay and then click with the mouse or press the stylus if you're using stylus and then you, you just leave your shift key and then start dragging so it will start tilting your camera so this is how you can tilt your camera and already I have uh, told you about if you uh, if you lose track of your object, okay. And if you want to bring your object, you just have to press a uh, frame button or F on your keyboard. It will bring back. Now, a uh, frame key works, uh, and it gives you uh, one more option if you're using an uh, 3D object which is made out of multiple. Uh, sub tools or multiple objects so let's do one thing here let's go to the light box here and see if we have any project which is made out of a different uh objects or let's go one uh do one thing here let's load tool okay and then i will load julie over here and let me go back here so Julie has replaced my model that was here. So, uh, but I don't care. It's fine because I didn't actually want it that model. Okay. Otherwise, what you have to do, you have to duplicate that model if you don't want to replace him, and then uh, load the tool, just like I showed you before. Now, and Julie, you can see that I have different sub tools here, and as I will go to these sub tools, they will be highlighted with it uh, on my screen over here okay suppose if i want to check uh, and go to the swimsuit so it will be highlighted here okay so this is how these tools will be highlighted and those that are not active will be darker like her hair and her swimsuit is darker now if you uh, you have multiple objects in your scene if you unhide them then if you press f on your keyboard it will go to those two like suppose if i will go to the swimsuit press f so it will take me to that uh, particular object for example if i will go to the eyes and then press f okay it will take me to the eyes okay and then if i want to go to the swimsuit and then press f it will go and take me to the uh, swimsuit so you have to press f twice why Suppose if I want to go and check the teeth, so I, I have to go to the teeth layer, uh, layer here and press F. First F will zoom out everything. It will show me the whole object. Second time if I will press F, then it will move me to that particular layer where I am on. For example, her hair. If I will go to the hair, press F, it will zoom out, show me the whole thing. If I will press F again, it will take me to that particular place. Okay, and if I go to the swimsuit, F, it will zoom out, F again, it will go to the swimsuit. Here. Okay, so that's how the F uh, or the frame will help you to easily 
uh, navigate through your sub tools if your object if your 3d model is created out of different different you can say uh, sub tools and one more thing uh, i think i already told you about the floor so if i will turn on the floor you can see that you have the floor over here but one more thing that i want to discuss here is that or tell you is that if you will notice there are some buttons on the floor like there are x y and z buttons if i will click on these buttons on top so it will uh, show the wall so if i have if i just have pressed x so now the x is showing me this wall over here okay if there is a z uh, next to the y if i will press this z it will it will show me the this wall just on the x axis so this actually help you to organize your file or keep your design or work or models on the flat surfaces okay and also it will help us to orient nicely in the 3d space so that we know that our objects are not exactly uh, are, are not going off the screen they are not rotated of uh, uh, like you know uh, awkwardly or they are not uh, on like you know they are just tilted or rotated air and they are not on the flat surfaces so to avoid those kind of things this will help us to orient on the flat surfaces so that we will not have any uh, issues if we are importing our artwork for 3d printing for or uh, for to import, export it for uh, game design for uh, for Maya to animate them, so we will not have those kind of issue if we know these things about it. But usually, I don't keep it on. I always keep this off so I can easily work on my uh, model. But usually, uh, to double check, you can turn it on to see if your model is oriented to the flat surface. It's not rotated or weirdly awkwardly uh, like rotated. Now, as you know that we, when we are working on our uh, 3D model here inside the ZBrush, if you right click, you will get this pop-up menu. But if you don't want to see this pop-up menu, because sometimes you feel you are quite annoyed with it and for other options, if you want something else to be popped up when you're right clicking. So how you will turn it off, you will just go to the preferences, we'll go to the interface, then you will go to the navigation and you will uncheck or disable this enable right click pop up now after that if i will try to right click nothing will happen here okay but i don't want it to uh, disable i will keep it open here so that's how you navigate inside zbrush as now you have already know that zbrush has a quite a unique way of navigation so uh, you can easily work now because navigation is one of the most uh, you know important part and which you need to know when you are working in any 3d space thanks a lot everyone for joining my course and following up with me and if you have not subscribed to my channel so please subscribe to my channel also click on the bell icon so you can get the daily notifications and i will really appreciate if you will watch all my videos online without downloading them because i need all those watch time hours please just support me uh, keep on sharing my videos with your friends ask them also to subscribe because I will be coming up with a lot of new great tutorials and full courses also don't forget to watch my online live streams and uh, watch the introductory video of the live stream you can also click on this icon on the top right corner where you can find my live stream introductory video where I have explained about all my uh, schedule or uh, that I'm will be working uh, on my live streams basically okay guys so take care and see you in the next topic or in the next chapter so by the time take care and keep subscribing keep watching and keep zebra <laughs>